what is your biggest uh, secret to become more the, confident? This, uh, yeah, get, be more fearless and yeah. take chances to step up where maybe people are yep. hiding. Yep. So, you know how earlier I said I don't know how to teach you empathy? Because I don't. I used to answer this question the same way. And then the cool thing about life is you get wiser, you watch, and something breaks through. And I actually have an answer for this, and I'm, I don't say it a lot, and I'm super pumped you asked me, so thank you. You need to do two things. You need to start hanging out with people that are overly confident. You need to look around your world, friend more people that are confident, and tomorrow you have to cut out who's pessimistic and negative out of your life. Not totally, but you don't need to talk to her or him three times a day, maybe three times a month. This is an energy game. I'm afraid of snakes. <laughs> I'm not afraid of anything emotionally. Other than death, even, even that, I'm starting to finally get there in the last two or three years. Nothing emotional. Nothing emotional. I'm afraid of I love it. I'll take every blame. I let somebody else do it first and then learn from all the mistakes? Or should I just go head first and learn from my own mistakes, but then somebody else will learn from my mistakes and go faster? Why this can't you learn from no. your mistakes no. first and go yeah. faster too? You said well, because I, that you're gonna go, you know, you, you painted a picture and you said, and what I'm worried about or debating is if I go first, somebody's gonna see the mistakes I make, they'll go second faster, and I understand, you know, this, you know, everybody, the early bird gets the worm, the second mouse gets the cheese, right? Because the only I understand the theory. It's very basic. Because my market is there. Let me, let me tell you, unless you're worried about the failure I'm not. other other people's opinions, absolutely not. then you've created a fake narrative. Somebody's gonna be second. First of all, nobody gives a shit about you. True. Or me. True. So nobody's really watching. So let's start with that. That should make it much easier for you to go first. Second of all, the person that goes first and fails nine out of ten times is the one that adjusts and goes fast again. This second mouse is not as cool as you think. And so I implore everybody to understand unless you have the mindset of patience and empathy and really understanding the reality of the marketplace, there are people here to survive. This next 15 years are going to be extraordinary side of weapons. We are living through fucking crazy times. What do they do and why are you holding up what got you here instead of figuring out what you need to do to still be around? The great mental flaw of this room <laughs> is that you put on a pedestal, if you're successful, what got you here without realizing that is exactly what gives you no chance to be successful going forward.